Hello again, everybody. This is uh, part two of Silent Hill 1. Uh, it's just pretty fun to do. So, so I'm going to jump into it again. I've been awake probably about 30 minutes. So, it's just going to be really fun. Nothing like a good scare to wake you up, right? Okay, so... Yeah, we got everything in here, didn't we? Yes, we did. So, one of my, my favorite viewers re uh, reached out to me and uh, told me I forgot to go to the convenience store, which uh, is very important, apparently. So, we're going to do her a big favor and go out and, do, and go to the store, because she really wants me to go back. Oh, yeah, you can't leave, so she's going to have to wait. Anyway, enough of a time waste. We gotta go to this desk. And, uh... Remember this list of teachers, because that's what we're gonna need. For later. And there's a bunch of bloody papers, so let's read them. Ten o'clock. Golden and old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for sage water. Okay. Uh, this one. Written in blood. Five o'clock. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beck and pray. Right, cool. And we got one more. Twelve o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped and lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. Cool. So that's basically telling us what we need to do for the puzzle. In this place. And check this painting out. Oh, pictures, my bad. Certainly in bad taste. Aside from the. I mean, it's cool. I wouldn't have it hung up, but it's cool. Gets these bullets. Is that it in this room? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that's it. Whoa. This is a loop in DVD. It's pretty bad, because, I mean, there's a wall right here. Boom. It's just terrible. So let's go out to the courtyard. Oh, and also, uh, my health's really low, so we're gonna drink up and uh, equip this pipe. Because we are about to beat some kids. Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe I should have shot the kids. I'm gonna shoot the kids. This is a bad idea. One on one, the pipe works wonders. See, look, I might as well not have even drunk that. Now we're gonna run up and kick him. There we go. Now I won't be making that mistake again. I'll have the gun out. Yeah. So this is what it, that thing was talking about, the clock tower. Let's see if Harry will show us. Stopped at 10 o'clock. So we gotta get it to 12 and 5. 12 and then 5. Now there's some bullets out here somewhere that I'm going to find. Before we... Continue on. Uh, I know there's bullets out here for a fact. Well, I guess, uh, I guess there's not, actually. Run up, kick him. Kill his friend. It is a blaster. I just, I, 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 
I don't know why I'm doing that in the menu, because there's like a thing. Yeah, that one's not openable. This one sure is. So, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's like anything we can do here in this hallway. I'm going to assume there's not. So we're going to go up the stairs. Yeah, okay. And enter in here. Ah! Oh god, Harry. We're getting swarmed here. Oh man. Cool. God, there's just so many rooms in this place, it's like stupid. Let's just let's just keep going. Nothing in here. Enemy wise. Hopefully there's something in here normal wise. No. There's not. Let's go into the bathroom. I actually did not expect huh, to even better. There's some bullets. Is that it? I guess so. And what about the old boys rushing? I forgot about that. Uh, we can check all the stalls to see if we can help, but there's nobody. Hey, wait, let's check the girls again. No, nothing. Waste of time, I think. Yeah, waste of time. Go Nats, little boy. Let's check the map. Oh, thank God I did that. I'm about dead. Yeah, that'll do me for now. Jeez, I'm playing awful. Yeah. Yeah, we do go this way. There's some stuff we gotta get up here. Like in this lab room with this cool music. Uh, chemical. And, uh, I think that's it in this room. So we grab the chemical. And look. This is an old man's hand. And if you remember that one thing, we've got to, uh, destroy it. What better way to do that with this concentrated hydrofluoric acid? Awesome stuff. So did that. Uh, oh, there's the bullets. I was like, hey, there's bullets in here. Where are they? Over here, of course. Oh, uh, Sucker. What? 
Harry hesitated on that one. I, that never happened. That's actually crazy. I am very amazed that he did that. A brave reserve. Is this one locked? Yes. I was very excited to get in, but you go into this door. Okay, I'm actually gonna do something with this radio static. Oh, you can't lower it. In Silent Hill 2, you could lower it and it wouldn't, like, you know, uh, not be pleasant to hear. Oh, look at this thing. It's like a little ghost baby. They don't hurt you. Cool. It's uh, actually pretty pathetic. These little monsters are. They just run. Ghost baby. Now is this a ghost baby room? No, it's a real boy. <laughs> Harry's got no problem just eliminating children. Left and right. You could argue, I you know. They're monsters. They're demons. They certainly look like kids. <sighs> I'm gonna try to pipe this one, guys. I didn't go so good last time, but look at how many bullets we've got. 115? We've really got to be starting to conserve the ammo. See, look at that. Oh. Now kick him. I'm not gonna bother going into the classrooms right now, I don't think. Should I? What do you guys think? Wait, what's this way? Locker room. I don't think there's... No, we should just go put that in the bag. Okay, which it goes in this one, that's right. Oh, my bad. Now we look at the time, see if we did it correctly. Twelve o'clock, awesome. Let's, uh, actually, we were about to go the long way, even though we don't have to. So, yeah, you can try all you want, little kid. You won't be catching Harry. Let's go in this locker room. Just a little kitty cat. Quite horrifying. Poor little animal. Nothing inside. How'd the... I was, you know... How'd the cat open the door? 
so we're gonna kill these cat killers. Hold on. Run and kick carry. I don't know which one of them got it, got the kitty, but uh, we made them all pay. Alright, so here's where we find the next puzzle. It's actually up there, you can sort of see it. Yeah. First flew the greedy pelican. Oh, look, actually, there's a lot. I'm not going to read it. I'll just have it. You know, put it on screen. You can pause and read if you want, because I'm. This is just too much for my poor little voice to handle. All right. Hopefully you got it. So we come to the piano. We've got to play it. So check the piano, of course. Basically, if you do a bunch of hardcore analyzation of that stuff we just read, you'll find out that we've got to press the keys in a certain order of the birds that flew. So, like the first bird was the pelican. And the pelican uh, is a white, so he'll be a white key. Or at least that was my interpretation of it. So, if you want the, like, if... I'm just going to press the keys. It's a doozy to explain. So you go... One. Wait, what? Oh my god, I messed up. <laughs> my bad, it won't happen again. I'm a professional. One. Two. Three. Four. And then... Yeah, we're cool, right? So let's just go back down the stairs. Before we do that, actually, I'm going to go through a bunch of rooms here. And if there's nothing important, this will get edited out because. Okay, let's. Let's back away here. Like these bullets here. I'm glad we went in here. Because what would I do without these handcuffs? He latched onto me from quite the distance. Shame he paid for it with his life. Okay. Running into the desk. No. Okay, there's nothing here. We got bullets. That's pretty much all we needed. What else did we... We did not check out... These rooms. Yes, we did, actually. Wow. Okay, well... So we're gonna go put that medallion in. What about the first floor? Oh ho ho! Little fella! I have only been awake for, I don't know, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, however long I've been playing this. Yeah, it's untailing, it's like. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep checking out these rooms because if I miss anything, I certainly don't want to get told about it. Yeah, see, more bullets. I would have just been passing all this up. Then I would have heard, oh, you forgot the handgun bullets in this room. Like, okay. Did you get, you forgot about the bullets there. And for some reason, instead of pressing the button for the map, I'm just, like, pressing the inventory. Can't go in there. This is unlocked. That is locked. Unlocked. No hesitation. Just a waste of bullets, I think. Yeah, let's just let's just go do this now. 
unlocked. Oh, almost got me. Alright, we're back. That all got edited out because I just got some bullets. It was a huge waste of time. Anyway, let's put this medallion in. Awesome. So... You can hear some sounds. It's, no, it's 12 o'clock now. No, it's not 12, it's 5. Yeah, that's right. God, I'm so silly. So... If you remember that little thing we read, bit in blood, it said the last one something darkness brings down the heat or brings up the heat. And look what we gotta do. Boiler room, ain't that just cool? I love boiler rooms. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street features a boiler room quite frequently. One of my favorite horror films. Oh my. I'm just so pro. So which was the boiler room? Not that one. That's a very some taller than the door frame. Okay. Okay, so what's over here? Nothing. Rest it. Is working. Okay. There's also a little creature snarling, and it was terrible. Well, let's go back to the courtyard. I don't know if I can avoid them this time. No, I couldn't. Harry, what are you doing, son? There. I've I should have done that from the get go. There I don't know where they got all these tactics they you know, getting avoided anymore. I'm missing shots. I'll kill your brother, son. Oh my ankle. So let's heal because we're about dead. Yeah, of course we are. Boom. We'll heal. Reload. Bam. We're good. Jeez Louise. So this should be unlocked now. Yes, it is. Climb down. There's a siren from when it was, uh... Oh, cool. I don't know what these are on the ground. Keep out. Not when my daughter is missing, I won't keep out. Okay. Where am I? Have I been here before? Hmm. I don't remember this being here before. All right. Pretty spooky, huh? As you can hear, the music's gotten quite spookier, too. So, what are we gonna do now? Check the map. Now, this is technically a different place, but same layout. We're still in Midwich. Quite scary. We are going to go... Huh, just joking, you can't. All right. 
right. So, what's the game plan? We gotta get back to this side of the thing with the down here. We gotta go back to the reception room or the room behind it. Let's try to do that. Hopefully. What's in here? Oh, yeah. A rubber ball. Alleviate our mind. Wait, was this door not locked too? Then what do I do? Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's this door. It's like, gotta be this door. Yeah. I should have just checked that instead of checking that and freaking out. Oh, wait, oh my god. It's because. Yeah. So, what do we do here? Is there anything I got in my inventory to help me with this van? Wait, there's a whole other door. Oh my god. Yeah, this one. There's a new enemy in here. Cockroach. I... They're just a, an annoyance. They don't, like, hurt at all. They just... Swarm ya. Where's the door? Oh, I just passed the door. Yeah, of course we're gonna unlock this door and make it not a pain to travel through. Let's oh, uh, see this. Oh, well, we can. And we'll grab this picture card. It's got a key on the back. Here's the bench. Wait, what? Oh. Not this bench. Yeah, there's a bench with a health drink on it. That specifically saved our lives in my first playthrough. And, uh, I'm not gonna fool around with Oh, oh. I'm not fooling around in that room. That's just a huge waste of ammunition, time, patience. Now, we should be here wearing the infirmary and, and whatnot. Yes, sir. And. Oh, look, there's another med kit. And this time there was something else. Okay, and here's the save station, and I'm debating on saving. Yeah, we are going to save, because this has been like 30 minutes. It's about the same length as the first episode. We got a lot done. We went to Nightmare Midwitch. Midwitch is always in my nightmare, really. Okay, I'll be seeing you guys in part two. Or three. Man, I'm so tired. Part three, coming, uh... Let's shoot for uh, sometime next week.